Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today's video is going to be all things homemaking. I've got tons of cleaning motivation in this video. I'm also going to be changing out these labels on these containers that I have in our kitchen and our bathroom and I'm going to be using my Cricut maker for that new pork chop crock pot recipe for you guys. So if you're gearing up for fall and you're looking for some more crock pot recipes, definitely stay tuned for that. And I am going to be sharing a really fun school lunch that I made for the kids. And honestly, adults would love this too because it's just so fun. But it looks like an ice cream sundae, but it's like a fruit parfait instead. So it's Greek yogurt and all the things that go inside. So I'll be sharing that later on in this video too. Lots of decluttering and cleaning. So grab your to-do list and clean along with me and we'll go ahead and get started. So we're going to start out with this pork chop recipe. So I'm putting some six pork chops in my crock pot and you can sear them ahead of time. This was just the first time I had ever made it and so I kind of skipped that step but honestly if you want to go the extra mile sear them beforehand it was good even without searing them but now I am just going to mix up half a cup of olive oil, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar and then two tablespoons of ranch seasoning and whisk that all together and then you're going to pour that on top of your pork chops. And the last step is to put in three tablespoons of butter and then I covered it and cooked it on high for about four hours. my Cricut Maker to make these adorable labels. You can see the font that I chose on the screen here. So for this project that I am doing today, it is very easy and you're going to see just how easy it is. All you do is get some vinyl, cut your words out, and then transfer it onto your transfer paper. And then you are going to just pop that onto your container or whatever surface you're wanting to put it on. Use your little um, scraper thing to press it down and make sure it stays on there and then just peel the transfer paper off and this is how it looks. So I'm going to work on doing all of my containers that way and then I will show you guys the results and it seriously turns out so cute so stay tuned with how this turned out. I wish I had taken a before video, but I haven't done the ones in our bathroom yet, so I'll be sure to get a before and after over there, but this turned out so cute. I was just telling Justin that you know how like whenever you redecorate a room or you paint a room or something and you just walk in there and you're like, oh, I don't even wanna leave now. That's how I feel about this. I'm like, I just wanna keep my cabinets open so I can see it every time I walk into the kitchen. So this is what the ones look like in our bathroom. Same labels as uh, the ones I had in the kitchen. And also there's no label on this one. And then I already took the cotton ball one out and put the new label on that. But anyway, this is the before and now we're gonna get them all on and I'll show you guys the after. You think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you There was something very therapeutic about this project to me and whenever I think of 
therapeutic projects or chores or DIY things that you might do. I always love to sit in front of the TV and just watch a movie while I'm doing that. And so I decided to bring all these containers into the living room and we watched the movie Aftermath on Netflix. Have you guys seen that yet? It's really good, very suspenseful, more on the horror movie side, but it has a great storyline to it. It's like trending number five right now um, so we decided to check it out and you guys know I love the suspenseful things so it was really good we liked it so definitely check it out if you're looking for a good suspenseful movie but I was just doing that while I was transferring all of these labels on but I would love to hear what you find therapeutic for me it's like folding laundry I always really love to wrap Christmas presents around the holidays I love to just turn on a movie and do that and then obviously these DIY things are just so therapeutic and fun. Um, anytime it comes to like painting or now transferring labels, now I know that I love that. <laughs> um, yeah, stuff like that is just really therapeutic to me. So I would love to hear what you find therapeutic down below. To give you my heart, yeah. Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you. gosh it's so much better than those little ones that were on there before one thing I do wish I had done is made Justin's stuff a little bit bigger but I was thinking you know it's pretty long it's just as long as this one but um, I wish it was like bigger going this way so uh, maybe I'll fix that another time and take this off and just redo this one but I don't have time today because I still need to do some laundry and then get dinner going because the pork chops are almost done. Take me for credit. chops are ready they look so good they're falling apart I just put my um, fork in there and you can see like it's just breaking apart oh, these are gonna be so good so I had a little piece of it and whenever I tried it I was like you know what this would go really good with mashed potatoes but because I've been doing keto I didn't have any potatoes here but you know, you gotta indulge sometimes, um, and potatoes aren't gonna be the worst thing for you. So, um, Justin went and got some mashed potatoes already made from the deli section, and so we're gonna have some mashed potatoes with this, although I do have a really good mashed potato recipe, so I'll link the video where I did that recipe down below for you guys so you can check it out if you're looking for a really good 
mashed potato recipe, but we're gonna do the pork chops with some mashed potatoes, and I'm about to cook up some more zucchini and squash because we have some of that left over from our dinner last night. So I'm gonna cook that up and then we're gonna have dinner. It is the next day. I've got my to-do list already made out. I need to start cleaning the bedroom first. I need to get the bed made. I need a vacuum in here. Um, I'm wearing my magnetic lashes again. I'm still trying to figure out if I like them. I like the way that they work, but because I have like hooded eyes, um, I'm just worried like it's covering too much of my lid. You see like when I open my eyes, it's like completely black down here at the bottom part. And um, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm wearing them again to see how I feel about them. But in the last video I did, well, other than the Italy vlogs, in the last video I did, I was sharing me putting these on. So um, if you want to see like the brand and everything check out that video but anyway the kids are in school now and um, I'm gonna try to get as much done as I can while they are in school so I'm gonna try to finish my entire to-do list before 2 30 actually 1 because the teacher's leaving early today so I've got even less time than I thought um, and I have a really fun lunch that I'm gonna be making for them today so stay tuned for that I can't tell what's wrong or right Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be Somewhere else to set me free I don't know what to do now Need to figure it out, but I don't know how I hope the wind will carry me And take me away to where I should be
room was empty before I started. Look at how much dog hair came up out of one room. Um, so I'm gonna go empty this and then I'm gonna vacuum the rest of the downstairs area. But I do have a little stain over here on our carpet and this is new carpet. So I wanna go ahead and take care of that now. And um, we do have a stain guard on this carpet but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using to get that stain up because this isn't the first stain I've had to get up out of this carpet and it works so well. Little stain right here and I'm using Method Stain Remover. And I love it because it's got these little like bristles on it. So all you do is put the stain remover on there, just squeeze it out and then use the brush on there and just kind of brush it out. And as you can see, it has come completely out. You can't even tell where it was anymore. It works like a charm every time. While I was down here getting that stain out, I realized we've got quite a bit of dog hair on our bed. So I'm gonna vacuum this and then I'll go empty the vacuum and vacuum the rest of the floor downstairs. Here's what I like. Laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes. Laughing with my friends under the sky. Following our hearts with them, we take a ride wherever. I always try to let my spirit fly, fly away. That's the only way to get that high, high away. If you look at the trouble. but instead of doing it in like a bowl or a cup, I got some like waffle cone cups and I am gonna put the vanilla Greek yogurt in that and kind of make it look like an ice cream sundae. Um, but I forgot to thaw out my frozen fruit. So I'm just going to put it in this colander and try to run some room temperature water on it just to 
get them unfrozen and then I'm gonna make their lunches. I'll probably put like some sprinkles on top too just to make it look a little bit more like ice cream and maybe a little cherry on top because I do have some maraschino cherries. So we'll see what I end up doing. <laughs> So after lunch, it was back to the to-do list. So the next thing I had on my list was to unpack the kids. I still had not unpacked their backpacks from our Italy vacation. They had just been sitting in their bedroom. So I decided since they are in school right now and I am trying to get things done from my to-do list, I would just add this on there. So finally getting them all unpacked. Most of their clothes were clean though because we did have a washer and dryer. Well, a washer in all of our Airbnbs and a dryer in two of our Airbnbs and the last place we were in had a dryer as well so we were able to dry all of the clothes and get them all cleaned so the majority of them all I had to do was hang them up or um, fold them and put them into their dressers so I'm gonna work on Julie's right now and then after that I'll go into Ross's bedroom and unpack him too so while I'm in here, I need to go through Julie's clothes a little bit. The other day she got dressed and she was wearing, I'm trying to find the dress now. It was a pink dress anyway. It was too short for her. And um, so I was like, I'm sure there's a lot of clothes in here that just need to be decluttered. So I'm gonna go through all of these clothes and pick out some things I can post on Poshmark. I was looking like a fool when I met ya All covered up in the dirt from my past So insecure about myself when I met ya Disappear 
So Bailey just got home. He's been being groomed. You can see he's so tired now. Time for a nap. He looks so fluffy. Oh, you cute baby. <laughs> and speaking of dogs, the only thing I have left on my list is to clean up Molly's bench in the sitting room. So I'm about to go do that now. I've got about 20 minutes before the kids are out of school. We got this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like a wall. And every time I trip, it's a free fall. Why don't you have? teacher was leaving at 1:45 today. I must have just misread my text. She's leaving at 1:45 on Monday. So, today is Thursday, which our kids don't do school on Fridays anyway, so they're about to start their weekend, but I thought when she texted me yesterday she was going to be leaving today at 1:45, but it's Monday at 1:45. But it's two o'clock now, and I was like, why are they not downstairs yet? Why, why have the kids not come downstairs? And then I went back to the text, and I was like, oh, it's not today. So I actually have 30 more minutes. Our kids normally get out of school at 2.30, uh, and so I've got 30 more minutes, and I'm going to go ahead and do the dishwasher and unload that. We didn't start it until after breakfast this morning just because we didn't have enough um, dishes last night to run it, but after breakfast we did. So um, the dishes are clean now. So since I've got 30 minutes, I'm going to use that time wisely and get as much done as I can in 30 minutes. Okay, change of plans. I just pulled out the dishes and everything is still like scalding hot. So I'm gonna let these cool down, but I do have another load of laundry that needs to be folded. So while these are cooling down, I'm gonna get that laundry folded and then hopefully I'll still have time to unload these before the kids get out of school. If not, I'll just have to unload them after they get out of school. I don't know who you are, I don't know what you've been through, why you got scars. Since you walked through the door, I've been trying to reach you, cause I feel you. What's the story to tell, what's the story behind, the mountain you're trying to climb. Think I've heard it before in a movie line, we can ride our own end in the sky.
is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. 